This is the Unitree G1, and as you can tell, it's a little shorter than some of the other humanoid robots out there, but I think that's what makes it special. 35 kilogram humanoid just pulled a 1400 kilogram car across pavement. A three foot robot that costs less than an iPhone in classrooms. And somewhere in Beijing, an AI system is teaching machines to understand physics the way you learned it as a child by touching things and figuring out why. China's robotics industry just crossed a threshold that most Western observers didn't see coming. This isn't about incremental improvements to existing technology. This is about machine developing genuine physical intuition, the kind of understanding that separates watching a video of someone riding a bike from actually knowing how to balance on two wheels yourself. The breakthrough came from an unlikely collaboration between the Beijing Humanoid Robot Innovation Center, Tsinghua University, and Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. They created something called WOW, the World Omniscient World Model, which researchers are calling the world's first self-evolving multimodal world model system. That's a lot of technical jargon that obscures something remarkable. WOW teaches robots to think about the physical world the way humans do, not by memorizing instructions or following rigid programming, but by building intuitive understanding through trial, error, and correction. Here's how current AI systems work. They watch massive amounts of video data showing objects moving, falling, colliding, breaking. They learn patterns about what typically happens in various situations, but they don't actually understand why things happen. They see correlations without grasping causation. It's like watching a million videos of people playing basketball without ever touching a ball yourself. You might recognize the movements, but you wouldn't understand the physics of shooting. Wow, flips this approach completely. Instead of passively observing the world, the system actively interacts with its environment, makes predictions about what will happen, checks those predictions against reality, and refines its understanding based on the results. It's learning physics the way children do, by doing things, messing up, and gradually building a mental model of how the physical world actually works. The technical foundation is a 14 billion parameter generative model built on something researchers call the SOFIA paradigm, which combines large language models with diffusion transformers to generate physically accurate predictions under language guidance. But the real innovation isn't in the parameters or architecture, it's in the learning loop itself, when you tell a WOW-powered robot to move a cup off the edge of a table without spilling it, the system doesn't just execute pre-programmed movements. It predicts what would happen with various approaches, reasons about the physics involved, checks those predictions against simulated or real outcomes, and refines its understanding to make the next attempt more realistic. It's a continuous cycle. Predict, critique, refine, repeat. This creates something that previous systems completely lacked, physical common sense. The intuitive understanding that pushing harder makes things move faster, that heavier objects require more force, that smooth surfaces mean less friction, that liquids behave differently than solids. All the unconscious knowledge you've built up from years of manipulating physical objects. To validate their approach, researchers created an entirely new benchmark called WOW Bench, designed to measure how well AI systems understand perception, reason about predictions, make decisions, and execute actions in generalized contexts. WOW has achieved state-of-the-art scores across this benchmark, beating other models in physical plausibility, temporal consistency, and complex instruction following. Demonstrations showed WOW handling tasks like novel view synthesis, predicting what an object would look like from an angle the system has never seen, and trajectory-guided video generation where it simulates how objects would move through real physical scenes with consistent logic. The system can even enhance vision language models by providing simulated feedback that helps them plan tasks more efficiently. The researchers emphasize this represents a crucial step toward AI systems with genuine physical common sense. When robots have access to massive real-world interaction data, instead of just videos or text descriptions, their understanding of cause and effect becomes fundamentally more grounded. This is the missing link between today's chatbots that can describe the world and tomorrow's embodied intelligence that can actually live in it, learn from it, and make independent decisions. While China pushes boundaries on the software intelligence side, they're simultaneously making aggressive moves on hardware accessibility.
country just unveiled what's being called the world's cheapest functional humanoid robot, and it's not a stripped-down proof of concept, it's a walking, talking machine called Boomi. Created by startup Nodix Robotics, Boomi costs only 9,998 yuan, approximately $1,370. That's cheaper than a flagship smartphone, a high-end drone, or a decent laptop. For context, most humanoid robots capable of walking and dynamic motion cost tens of thousands of dollars in China and significantly more in Western markets. Boomi stands just over 3 feet tall at 94 centimeters and weighs around 12 kilograms, about 26.5 pounds. It's tiny compared to full-size industrial robots from companies like Unitree or UbiTech, but that's entirely intentional. Nodix isn't competing with industrial machines. They're creating an entirely new category, small, lightweight, affordable humanoids built specifically for education and home use. Despite the low price and small size, Boomi can walk, balance, and dance with surprising smoothness. Early demonstration videos show movement stability you wouldn't expect from something under $1,400. The low cost comes from clever engineering choices, lightweight composite materials, an in-house motion control system, and modular structure that's easy to repair and customize. The design focuses on engagement and learning rather than heavy lifting or industrial tasks. Nodix's earlier model, the N2, already sold over 2,500 units and even completed a half marathon for humanoid robots earlier this year. A remarkable achievement demonstrating both endurance and stability. That success positioned them among China's fastest rising robotics startups. Boomi runs on a 48 volt battery with capacity over 3.5 amp hours, providing one to two hours of operation per charge. It supports drag and drop graphical programming so even children or coding beginners can program behaviors easily. Voice interaction allows it to function as a personal assistant, respond to simple commands, or serve as a learning companion. Nodix plans to open pre-orders between China's Double Eleven and Double Twelve shopping festivals November 11th through December 12th, the country's peak shopping season. They're deliberately mimicking the hype cycle of smartphone launches just for robots this time. The strategy reveals their ambition, mass adoption rather than niche markets. The startup itself launched in September 2023 with a team from Tsinghua and Zhejiang University. In less than two years, they've progressed from academic prototypes to actual consumer products under $1,500. That development speed demonstrates how competitive China's robotics ecosystem has become. Independent robotics media outlet RoboHub shared footage of Boomi dancing and walking. While it lacks the dexterity and upper body control of larger models, movement quality is remarkable for its class. If Nodix can scale production, we could witness the first wave of humanoid robots designed for classrooms and households, not just showrooms and research laboratories. But let's scale up dramatically from friendly educational robots to demonstrations of raw physical capability. At the Beijing Academy of Artificial Intelligence, researchers took Unitree's G1 humanoid and gave it a challenge that sounds almost absurd. Pull a car, not a toy car, a real vehicle weighing 1,400 kilograms, roughly 3,100 pounds. The G1 itself weighs only 35 kilograms and stands about 132 centimeters tall. Yet it successfully pulled this vehicle, which weighs approximately 40 times its own body weight, across flat pavement. Now the car was on smooth ground with low friction, but the balance and control required remain extraordinary. What's impressive isn't just that the robot moved the car, it's how it accomplished the task. Video shows the G1 leaning back sharply, moving feet rapidly to maintain traction, and constantly adjusting posture to stay upright. All of this happens autonomously through real-time feedback and control systems. This dynamic balance capability is critical for humanoid robots working in human environments. Consider warehouses, factories, or rescue missions. A robot with this kind of control could carry equipment across uneven ground, step over debris, or help move heavy objects without tipping over or losing stability. Unitree has built a reputation for spectacular demonstrations, flips, sprints, recoveries after being pushed to the ground. But this carpooling test demonstrates practical control, moving beyond flashy showmanship. Their models are starting to handle real-world physics the way you'd want reliable machines to operate. 
Challenges certainly remain. Even with all this progress, most humanoid robots still struggle with hand dexterity. They can walk, run, balance impressively. But delicate tasks like buttoning shirts or picking up fragile objects remain far from perfected. Developers are focusing on making these movements more natural and safe for work environments. But widespread workplace deployment probably remains several years away. What's becoming undeniable is that China is moving faster than most Western observers expected. The combination of advanced AI systems like WoW that teach genuine physical intuition, affordable hardware platforms like Boomi that enable mass adoption, and demonstrations like the G1 carpooling that prove practical capability, all happening simultaneously, suggest we're approaching a genuine inflection point. The trajectory points towards something remarkable. If this pace continues, 2026 might genuinely be the year robots can walk into houses, cook meals, and clean up afterward. Not because someone programmed every single movement in advance, but because they actually understand what they're doing at a fundamental level. The difference between programmed automation and genuine understanding might seem philosophical until you consider the implications. A programmed robot fails when it encounters anything outside its training data. A robot with physical intuition can generalize to novel situations, adapting its approach based on actual understanding of physical principles rather than memorized patterns. That's the leap WoW represents. That's what makes Boomi's affordability significant beyond just price. It potentially puts these learning systems in millions of homes and classrooms where they can accumulate real-world interaction data at unprecedented scale. And that's why demonstrations like the G1 pulling a car matter. They prove the physical platforms are becoming robust enough to handle demands beyond controlled laboratory environments. China isn't just iterating on existing robotics technology. They're simultaneously advancing the intelligence that powers these systems, democratizing access through aggressive pricing, and proving physical capability through increasingly demanding tests. All three developments happening at once create conditions for explosive growth. The robotics revolution everyone predicted for decades might finally be arriving, not from Silicon Valley, but from Beijing. That's it for today, folks. See you in the next video.